Love that. Taliska! Beast! Yes, Taliska! There we go! Yeah, <laughs> boy. Alright, guys, I'm Jack here. Welcome back to his Glory. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, so Team of the Week is here, well actually then again by the time you're seeing this Team of the Week's been out for ages. I will admit it's not the craziest Team of the Week so we're not blessed with choices. There's a couple of juicy cards, there's a couple of sweaty lads, there's a couple of you know nice decent cards but there's nothing truly spectacular except for that Son which you know let's be honest I'm not, I ain't out here trying to get Son on nothing that's just ridiculous. But there was one card lads that caught my eye, a card that I used a lot last year, I absolutely love this kid. Last year long shots were insanely incredible and this card that come out right at the start of the game goes by the name of Taliska his inform was immaculate last year then he got this what was it carnival a weekly objective it was and he was just as good <laughs> oh that's hot that's hot so that same lad caught my eye this week I noticed him and I was like I owe him that much I owe him a review because he was so good last year but before we do that lads, let's talk about my team and obviously a couple of changes we've made so in the last video lads I asked you guys to give me some suggestions for icon center backs I got a shit ton of suggestions lads I wasn't expecting that many people to you know to give me ideas the ones I saw the most were Carlos Alberto Sol Campbell and Desai fuck you fuck you fuck you you're cool all of which are super fast and very, very good. Soul Campbell was the card that I had my eyes on the whole time. That was the card that I wanted to get. But I'm not going to lie, Carlos Alberto really caught my eye. So if Soul Campbell does not work out, I'll definitely try out Carlos Alberto. I did also see Hierro, uh, Puyol I saw. Now Puyol, I would love to try because I love him in real life. But he's a little bit overpriced. I'm kind of hoping he gets an icon swaps. And if he does, I'll most likely get him. But considering he only has 72 pace, I know obviously his defensive stats are immaculate. But 72 pace is not the craziest. And I think he's like 700 and like 50k which is more than Sol Campbell and in my opinion Sol Campbell is a lot better so I was a little bit surprised with Carlos Puyol's price had he been a bit cheaper I probably may have gone with Carlos Puyol I could have got Desai but in my opinion I think Sol Campbell edges him slightly and he's a lot cheaper uh, Sol Campbell TV the Jeeps game. I've used him a little bit lad so far and he's been really really good he's an absolute beast he's got amazing strength he's so fast and so quick and he just partners ridiculously well with Kanate so I'm happy with my purchase so far but like I said if he turns out to be in weekend league or not as good as I was expecting we will try out Carlos Alberto and if Carlos Alberto doesn't work then I'll try out Puyol and if Puyol doesn't work out I'll try out Hierro and if Hierro doesn't... and then of course lads we went with Tellez at left back because obviously we can get any Brazilian left back here so I could get Alexandro but Tellez obviously has got a really nice card I was thinking about doing that Serie A uh, that Serie A um, SBC the league SBC obviously Dalbert's got a really really nice card and I'd love to try him however 250k for a left back oh no so that is all the changes we made to the team, lads. Uh, well, hold on a minute. I don't know what he's doing there. So yeah, to be honest, lads, I'm, I couldn't be happier with this team. Like, really, look at this shit. Look at it. We're not even quite in December yet. We're, we're not even in December. Not to mention I've got 340k just sat there. Ooh, wow. This year has been disgusting in terms of the amount of coins we've earned. It is, it's truly filth. I wasn't even close to as much of like coins I had last year as I did as I do this year. Anyway, let's talk about the man, the myth, the legend, Taliska. Obviously, the star of the show for today. So we've thrown him into a cheeky little team here, lads. Obviously, we're getting that perfect link from Paulinho. So if you did that Paulinho SBC, that could be a potential link for you guys. That gives me a fucking hard on. But yeah, I thought I'd just use some cards that we don't often use. Some cards that I don't get the chance to use. Cards like Politano, some red cards here like the Rella, who are all pretty solid. Not to mention we've got this Quincy promise here lads that we did get from red cards. I got him out of rewards this morning. I couldn't be bothered to record because I, I figured the EA would shaft us after the, the De Bruyne and, and those crazy walkouts. I rightfully thought so. You know, EA EA don't do two weeks in a row good packs. That doesn't happen. Which I ain't complaining. Look, we're in a good position right now. EA, it's fine. You can shaft us a couple weeks. I ain't gonna complain. Shut up, bitch. But one of the silver linings out of those rewards was this Quincy promise lads who looks really, really good. If you don't have the craziest budget, I do think this is a really good level. Left winger, four star weak for five star skill, so you know he's got skill moves and everything. Great finishing, great long shots, really good dribbling and pace. Just a really, really decent little card. I think he's like 20k now, which is ridiculously cheap. I thought we'd try out someone a little bit different, someone I usually would never go with. Who the fuck is this asshole? Bits of team chemistry wise, lads, and he does have some really interesting stats. I mean, the defensive stats are impeccable. Uh, the physical isn't 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 great. It's not great. His pace isn't isn't great either. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'm not gonna front. I don't think. The Rye is going to be great, but he fit the team, and I kind of just wanted to try him. Uh, why not? Now, you guys haven't seen the video yet, but I just recorded a squad builder video, and it'll be you'll be out in a couple days. But we used on a rumor in that squad builder, and he was genuinely tragic, like the worst goalkeeper we've I've ever seen. So this is his final chance. Like if he's shit in this video, 
he's getting in an SVC and we never see his face again. That's just the, what's going to happen. This is his last chance. Yeah, that is the team we put together. That's nothing too crazy. I think what we're going to do is we're going to switch into a cheeky 4-1-2-1-2 as we usually do. I've already set this out. So we're going to have we're going to have Anderson Taliska as the cam trying out those long shots. We're going to have Polly and Quincy up front and then just the, you know, the midfield as you'd expect. Decent little defense there as well. So yeah, we got things pretty, pretty much set. So before we jump into the gameplay, let's check out the in games and see what we're dealing with here. So you got four star, four star. So he's got that done. He's got that set. And the one thing that has changed with this card from last year, lads, he went from a high medium to a high low. This Anderson Taliska card is definitely not a centre mid anymore. Okay, last year he definitely was a great centre mid. That's where I positioned him because he was fantastic at tackling. He got back all the time and ended the you know the attacking work from amazingly. This is definitely an out and out cam now. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. What absolutely confirms that, lads, is the defending. The defending is pretty horrendous now. EA just completely rid him of any defensive capabilities, really. I mean, he's got heading, I guess, but yeah, they, they ruined his defensive card, so this is definitely a can. But aside from that, lads, you've got pretty decent pace, nothing crazy. Incredible shooting sets, lads. 82 finishing and 91 long shots. I'm going to be cracking a few. You know I'm going to be cracking a few. And you've got a pretty decent dribbling card here, lads. Obviously, he hasn't got the craziest agility because, you know, he's, he's six foot three. He's a big guy, so it kind of makes sense. But the 87 ball control and the 85 dribbling is really nice. So yeah, it's not the craziest card in the world. There's definitely better cards out there, but uh, it's more of a throwback down the old memory lane. I loved this guy last year. I thought we'd do a review. It's a pretty shit team of the week. Why the fuck not? Anyway, boys and girls, I feel like we talked about this enough. Let's just jump straight into a little bit of gameplay. Let's test those long shots. Let's test that finishing. See if he's a god like last year. So without further ado, let's jump into game number one. Politano, you beast. Taliska! Oh, what a save. Good start, though. Decent start. Go on. Oh, what a pass from Taliska. That's a glorious pass. Promise! Um, Promise. Oh, seeing a poly run. What a pass. Taliska's passing is phenomenal so far. Drop it back to him. Oh, it's meant to be for Taliska. Taliska was a muck. Scott, go on. Got a free kick. Right, I'm going to test Taliska. He's got 89 free kicks. Hello. That's, that's not bad. That could go in. Oh! What a beauty! Great success! Good ball, really good ball. Promes. Taliska's in the run. Long shot. Oh, what a save. Ball in. Smaldini. Play it off. You go for it. Come on, you're not on the right. Just, just, just fucking do it, you know? Just, 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 just keep it going. Just keep doing that. And just, what the fuck? I, I just, I gotta leave, okay? No, we just started. Come on, man. We listen, just, listen, gotta... there's a lot to see in this life. Not wasting it here. Well, lads, what a great first game. I mean, does it get any better than that? Liska starting off with a bang with an absolute beauty of a free kick. So far, really like the feel of him. His shooting feels really nice. Obviously, he didn't score any other goals other than that free kick, but it does feel really good. His dribbling feels great. His passing's fantastic. Really like him so far, so just more of that would be great. I have to say, lads, even if you cancel out De Vrij's goal, De Vrij was amazing. I didn't put any of his highlights in the video, I wouldn't think, because, you know, who wants to see a... Who, no one wants to see a centre-back De Vrij. All right, I'm going to go cry. Genuinely, I'm shocked how good De Vrij was in that game. Like, he was fantastic. He was everywhere. His interceptions, tackles. He was he was amazing. So, yeah, not a lot to say, really. Let's just jump into game number two. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> um, What? What? Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, calm. everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! wait Everybody wait. Just calm down! Oh, what tackle. Come on! Anyone! Taliska! Ref, if that's not a penalty, then what the hell is? It's a penalty! You must be fucking joking me! What a ball, please, Promes. This is you now. It's all you. Come on. What a finish, lad. Cracking stuff. Got one, two. Love that. Taliska. Beast. Yes, Taliska. There we go. Yeah, boy. Come on. Smaldini, you've been turned. You've been turned like a fucking Muppet by none other than Lukaku. For fuck's sake. 
No! I've missed! I was just trying to skip the replay! Freak! 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 I think you need to calm down. We're not. Please be off. He's actually on side. What the fuck happens by defense? DeVry, you were so good the first game! What the fuck? Where is my defense? Like, this is inexcusable. He's missed it, but where's my defense? Oh, jeez, he's crying. <laughs> well, overall, boys, the team performed pretty abysmally in this game. I mean, it was a shadow of how it performed in the first game where we got the guy to rage quit. DeVry? What happened to DeVry? He went from the biggest surprise of the year to what he looks like. A pile of shit. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? As for Taliska, honestly, Taliska did nothing wrong this game. His passing was really good. Honestly, it was my favourite thing about him. I think is his passing. Uh, his, his goal was really nice. His dribbling is great. I like Taliska. He does feel a little bit too slow. I've currently got a finisher chem style on him. I do think a hunter chem style might be the go for this one. But other than that, I really like Taliska so far. He was one of the few players that actually performed well in this game. Him and Prom were good. Everyone else was pretty shit. Anyway, boys and girls, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into game number three. Oh my god, promise that is a juicy intercept. Screen PK, where do you get your pace from? Oh, he's got a back. Come on. Give me a run. Volley. Give me a run. Promise. Volley. Shoot. Oh, that save is grim. Please keep <laughs> up! Ah, uh, Donna Rimmer is still quite shit. Go on, over the top. He offside trapped me, didn't he? Wait, is he onside? What? Who kept Ron onside just now? I, I see this as an absolute win. Over the top! Oh, what a pass! Polly! It's gotta be! Screen PK, just go away, dude! Paulinho's done ridiculously well. Right, Screen PK ain't catching me this time, mate. This has got to be. Play it across. Where there's not PK, there's a Langlat. Yo, kill me with this Now, oh my god, I'm going to fucking punch PK if I ever see him in real life. Davidia, time for you to save my ass. Screen PK, he's giving us too much dick. It's time for us to fucking give some back. Come on. He's got me. He's done me. Fuck, dude. I just want to fucking win a game, man. Fucking useless sack of shit. Get out. Taliska, it's time. Oh. Oh. What a save. Doesn't matter. It never matters. Never matters. Because the ball, it, and there's some stupid FIFA physics where they save it and the ball just does this. Go to the player. Every time. Ne never my player. Their player. The ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent the air is salt. And you breathe that in and you can constantly taste the salt. Just get one. Just a little mild constellation, please, Taliska. We haven't scored a long shot yet. To Stegen is just he's so shit and fucking annoying. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, that was... Pretty shambolic. We started so promisingly. As long as you've got screen PK, lads, I don't stand a chance. It's something about that guy. Something about him. He just is just disgusting. But forget all that, lads. Let's talk about Taliska and how I felt about this card. I actually really liked him. I thought he was actually really good. I know, obviously, he didn't score crazy number of goals or do anything absolutely, you know, mind-blowing. But in terms of how he feels, I, I felt he, like, was really good. The biggest strength, in my opinion, his passing. It was literally amazing. Like, perfect, nearly. It was, it was his passing was fantastic his long shots are really good i know i didn't score any but in terms of how accurate they were and you know the distances i was trying them from they were almost always on target if it weren't for the most broken goalkeepers in fifa history this year he would have at least put two or three of those in like especially this game stegen made two outrageous long shot saves free kicks obviously he scored an absolute beauty in the first game from his free kicks so if you need a free kick taker he's definitely got that down and i really like his dribbling his ball control is immaculate his in-game dribbling is obviously really good he's only the the agility that really lets him down but uh, to be honest I didn't really feel it at all. As for the downsides this card does not feel fast in my opinion. He doesn't feel slow but he's definitely not fast so I would definitely recommend a hunter or a catalyst on this card minimum and obviously the defensive side of this card is completely absent this year because he uh, just killed him defensively. He has high low work rates and he has no defensive stats so he's, he's not really a good centre mid. You kind of have to play him as a cam which is a shame but I do think he offers a different, different style of cam so if you need that let's say 
you need the green link to uh, to Paulinho to get them in the team or whatever. I definitely think he's a good enough cam. I don't think he's an amazing cam, but he's definitely good enough. So I'll give him a cheeky 8 out of 10. Really had fun with him. Really enjoyed him. I definitely, definitely enjoyed him. I think the attacking side of his game is very similar to how he was last year. Nearly the same, in fact. Again, though, last year he was just amazing defensively, which is why I loved him that much more last year. But still, his attacking side is, is still fantastic. Anyway, boys and girls, I'm going to call it a day there. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, smash the like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next one, all right? Peace.